It's Thursday Night Football between the Baltimore Ravens and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We break down the game, give you our best bet, and it all starts right now. Hey guys, it's Matt from GrandstandBetters.com and week 8 of the NFL season starts with Thursday Night Football between the Ravens and Bucks in prime time. We're going to get to our prediction in just a moment, but first, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any of our free picks, predictions, and contests throughout the entire season. And while you're at it, smash that like button. If you are ready for some Thursday Night Football tonight, I know we are so Without further ado, let's dive in to the matchup between the Ravens and Buccaneers. And Buccaneers, they are one and a half point underdogs in this one. Over under is set at 45 and a half points. Ravens, they come into this matchup uh, beating the Cleveland Browns last Sunday to stay a tie to top the AFC North standings with the Bengals. Ravens ironically did not have to throw the football much against a bad secondary that Cleveland has. They actually found a lot of success on the ground. They ran the ball 44 times for 160 yards. And honestly, although that isn't a huge yards per carry average, they were effective when they needed it. They were only 7 of 15 on third downs last week, but on fourth down situations, they went 2 for 2 and they ran the ball both times easily getting those first downs. Now the Ravens might actually stick with the game plan of rushing this week as the Bucks gave up 173 yards on the ground to the Panthers last week in a horrible 21-3 loss. Craziest thing about that stat is they did it. The Panthers did that rushing attack without McCaffrey uh, as he had already been traded to the 49ers. Foreman and Hubbard combined for all of the rushing yardage and they both averaged over seven yards per carry. Now, speaking of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they are three and four on the season. And the unfortunate thing is because of all their problems on the field, we have to hear of all the problems Tom Brady is having off the field. Honestly, there is a reason that Tom Brady said he won't retire. It's because Giselle is the breadwinner in the family. And if they divorce, he's going to still need a job. All right, all right. Let me get off Brady here for a second. Let's actually talk about the Bucks. Brady and these Bucks, they're going to be going up against one of the worst secondaries in the NFL this week. Baltimore giving up 261 yards through the air, seventh worst in the league, which in correlation is given up 23 points per game. That's 12th worst in the NFL. Now, their passing offense, the Bucks, has actually not been half bad this season. Brady and the offense averaging... 266 passing yards per game, which is near top five in the NFL. But what they are struggling heavily on is their rushing attack. They are last by a lot in the NFL, only gaining 64.4 yards per carry on the ground. And most of that is because of an average or below average offensive line. The other problem the Bucs are having, and again, this could be a correlation, is they cannot score points, especially when they are in the red zone. This offense, despite moving the ball well between the 20s, is only averaging 17 points per game. Again, as we alluded to, only three put up last week uh, against the Panthers. They have the fourth worst red zone scoring percentage in all the NFL at less than 50%. I mean, Brady threw the football about 50 times last week for nearly 300 yards, and they were only able to put up a field goal? Come on. I mean, you can't really blame Tom Brady, uh, especially when he's passing to Evans for a massive touchdown, uh, and Evans drops the ball with no one around him, at least not 10 yards near him. If you want to look at a positive going into this week for the Bucks, though, they do get to play a Ravens defense that gives up a ton of scoring in the red zone. So uh, what is our best bet in this Thursday night football matchup between the Ravens and Bucks? Well, at the end of the day, Tom Brady, he's at home, he's on Thursday Night Football, and even though the Browns lost to the Ravens, they were in that game, and honestly, the Ravens at 4-3 and three have been so up and down, it's a little, little hard to read them, especially maybe here on a short week. They have not put together a two-game win streak all season long, and if Tom Brady loses this week, the world might actually end, as that would be, I believe, five of six games lost uh, in that span. At the very least, who knows? Tom Brady, if he loses, could retire on Friday. But we'll wait and see how this game plays out. 
Everyone is going to fade these Buccaneers, and they're going to fade Brady in his situation with Giselle. Uh, but the guy's almost thrown for 2,000 yards already this season and has an 8-to-1 TD ratio. So with our best bet for Thursday Night Football, give us Tom Brady and the Bucks plus the points at 1.5. Now, just a reminder, if you're looking for our full NFL card for week number eight and any college football plays or any other sports as well, head on over to GrandstandBetters.com, become part of our family, and start living that Grandstand life. Links below in the description. We look forward to you joining our team real soon. In the meantime, though, sit back, relax, enjoy Ravens Bucks on Thursday Night Football, and we'll be right back here tomorrow night with our week nine college football plays.